So I'm meeting up with Mike Harrison today, at Mike Harrison's Fossils on Instagram. And he's found the most wonderful fossil, crinoid, you could ever imagine. Here's just a fragment of what he is digging in a mudslip that is like soft cream cheese with special permission to do that work from the National Trust. There's no digging in the cliffs in situ, but look at this wonderful fossil that he's working on at this juncture. I'm gonna be showing you all of this amazing dig today on YouTube. This is a fossil crinoid, sea lily, it is also known as. Well, Mike's just gonna go home now and get changed and continue some work for this lovely crinoid material on the beach. There is a fossil collecting code of conduct along the Jurassic coast. You can see that online. Yeah, it's a lovely piece though, wow. Right in, right in that way. You can see the wood there. It's all layered. Like Whitby Jet almost. Wish it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A seam of Whitby Jet finally arrives on the Jurassic Coast. Not friable, not crumbly, and uh, falling if we apart. Just clean this off. We can um, photograph it to get the bits back together in the workshop. Well, this video might actually help you as well because you can just screenshot it. Yeah. Well, I'll lift one or two of the pieces now if you want. To see what we've got. Well, we'll take some photos first. There's a camera. You've got a real jigsaw on your hands here, I'll, though. I'll lift a couple of pieces now if you like. Um, so, if you, have you got some pictures this end? Yes, yeah, I'll just turn it on here and just uh, steady up on it again. Perfect. Right up to the bag. Yeah, that's all in. The big pieces always go together easiest, right? Let's hope for some really nice detail on this. What a treat to look see. Look at the size of this. You've not lifted that yeah. up before. No one's seen that in 190 oh, million years. Oh my word, look at that crinoid cup. Why that wash up a treat? Beauty. Wow. What an astonishing looking thing. Tiny bit of sand there. A little bit of sand, the attrition of the sand and sea, scrubbing that wonderful fossil up. Wow, look at that. That really does show a wonderful crinoid cup. I thought I'd just splice this film in with the dig to show you how Mike will go on further to prepare this intricate fossil specimen with the use of different hand tools. Amazing, I'm happy yeah. that, that one piece alone. Really? Let alone, <laughs> let alone all what's to worth, come. Worth all the work. <laughs> Absolutely. Put this one safe over here. Yep. They're going to be the easy pieces to put back together. Look at that lovely um, imprint it's oh, left yeah, behind. Exactly. Well, I must take a photo of that. Yeah, exactly. Look at that print. Well, I can't wait for the next bit to have a look at the next bit, seeing something like that emerge. Right, it's coming up. Got a head there. That other bit must be fantastic with the head. This there's is going to clean up nicely. There's some lovely stems. stems there. Yeah. They'll clean up lovely, they will. Wow. What an amazing first sight seeing an actual crinoid cup come out being revealed for the first time in all those millions of years. Another Jurassic Age. We'll take the little piece out from the little uh, cheese wedge. bit of wood there. Yeah, that's the wood. 
part of the wood. I wonder how that's got underneath. There's a little bit of detail showing there, so there could be a bit of a head there. It's just gonna be amazing when I when we see it all scrubbed up. And that little section. Yeah, needs got to a go little with, shard too. Needs to go with that. There. Always a job for wellies. <laughs> Right, are we in for a treat on this piece? It's a nice big thick wedge. I think we are. Yeah, it's, it's, it is there underneath. Wow. Just nice to have the mud on it really, that it is so well preserved. It's stems in yeah, um, the cross the stems section in the cross there. Section. And some of the crinoids come away look and um, mud's got between the two layers there look at that you don't see that often do you no split layers that'll be interesting so the um, beef has permeated the actual crinoid bed there and split the split it but no, I, th I think what's happened is as it laid on the sea floor mud's got between some of the some of the crinoids yeah yeah So that's the first bit of this uh, thinner section to lift up then, isn't it, Mike? Let's have a look at the, yeah, we'll do, we'll do this little group here, yeah. all in one bag, I know everything goes together. Yeah. We've got a couple of photos of it. Yeah, I took the photos um, for you. To aid, aid putting it back together, so we'll give this one a lift. Oh, oh, oh yes, oh, look. Yay. Look, at that's going to be beautiful. That crinoid cup there, lovely sway on it. Yeah. Get this whole group in a bag, and it. One. It really thins out fast, doesn't it? There, look. Oh, yeah. Paper. Paper thin it's going to get, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, it is. So, those pieces go, uh, yeah, there it goes. Gone onto the edge of the log, hasn't it, there? Oh, it's a bit come off. Oh, oh, that's nice. Wow, really good relief. There, I'll put it onto a nice thick piece as well. Yeah. Right? I'll scrub up a tree. Lovely crinoid heads on the bottom of this piece. Just if it comes out. Hmm, I'm having a bit of trouble here. It's so wedged in. Yeah, it's um Oh yeah. I need to remove a bit more. Give it that something or other. Bit of a shake. All shattered to the side. These pieces might come out easily. A wiggle? Yeah. And then as you wiggle them, <coughs> they still don't come out sometimes. Such a thick, heavy piece. Yeah. I've got some spare gloves if you need them, Mike. I think I've got some in the coat. It's coming. Is it? Yeah, yeah, you coming. Millimetre by millimetre. A little bit of beef on there. Yeah. And then that'll protect the underside. Excellent. Oh yeah, you've got a nice lift on that. Wow. Let's have a look. Here we go. Oh yeah, there's some nice stuff on there. Oh, there's some nice, some nice relief, stem. isn't there? Yeah. It's very oh, much hidden, but it's definitely there. That'll clean up all right. Yeah. And on the edges. Big thick piece. That's how we like it. These bagged up crinoid. All ready to piece back together. There's this really good bags. Where do you get those from, Mike? Yeah, where did I get them from, don't I? Good sturdy bags. To They're good sturdy on. bags and they do the job. Perfect. <laughs> right, I'm starting the video now. <laughs> the rest is going to get chopped out.
I haven't got a muddy face as well, have I? No, you're actually you're really good um, uh, sort of with the mud pack and stuff. But uh, <laughs> look at that with the uh, with the boots there. And then the back of a fossil hunter's car. Well, I don't think, if you're clean, tidy, there's no way you're fossil hunting properly. There you go, head torches. Just a few bits of crinoid. And um, of course, uh, some skippers. <laughs> For lunch. Have an advert for John West there. Yeah, better not. Otherwise, I'll have to do. Um, we, we, yeah, wh why would we want to advertise that? <laughs> Are they nice though, Mike? <laughs> not bad. Yummy. <laughs> so as long as you don't dig in the cliffs and sit, you're allowed to take the fossils that wash out along the shoreline. The sea doing the work for you, and it was amazing to see Mike Harrison today doing the work out here, finding that crinoid, that exemplary piece of fossil material, absolutely stunning. And uh, what I'll do is show you some amazing fossils too, later on in my YouTube videos that we've both found, and we'll talk about those. So thanks very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.